The best way is a steering stabilizer. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's a looks like a shock absorber. It's a hydraulic cylinder and it's clamped to the frame or the axle and into the steering tie rod. And that dampens out any shaking or shimmy you would get. This particular car here has one on it. The 35 and 6 packets apparently were really prone to that. We go down we hit a bump a certain way or cross a railroad crossing and boy it starts to shimmy and shake. And that sounds more well like that was maybe a, a design flaw in the in the earlier ones that yeah, was later probably the cars were new they didn't but as yeah. time goes by and yeah. probably the caster angle of the things change over time when you start getting that and you know the play in the steering linkage on uh, itself I had a uh, 63 Studebaker pickup which has a solid front axle and it got to so bad, just going down the freeway, you hit a little bump, you start to shimmy so bad, you think you're going to tear the front end off the car. <laughs> so I put a steering stabilizer on it, and end of problem, never again. It just drove like new. Is that a fairly uh, straightforward procedure, or is it pretty entailed? Oh, it's pretty straightforward. You might have to make a mounting bracket for the anchor it to the, uh, like on this car, the one end of it's connected to your drive, your tie rod, the other end is connected to I think which is where the spring hanger is. You have to anchor it someplace that's steady. And do you guys uh, uh, fabricate your own little pieces here in the shop or do you have another place that you, uh, you get well, those types of pieces? Well it depends on what, what you have to make it out of I guess. Yeah. You have some of those, you have the tools to do that here? To fabricate some pieces? Oh yeah, we use a torch for heating and bending and drill fast to drill holes in it. I think they come with a bracket, you'd probably have to modify it. So I see. That's probably what we do. 